and think I just wanted to relax a little for a few minutes on the couch. Welcome to Goat Ranch, and the goats are here. Right now it's like shoulder-mounted camera, so it's awesome. Okay, don't know if you'll be able to see them, but yeah, now I know you'll be able to see them. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be, well, as you probably already know, I'm going to be demonstrating hydrostatic shock. Now, I know what you're about to say, Jacob. Any gun channel is going to demonstrate hydrostatic shock. Yes, I know. But I haven't seen any gun channel that explains what happens. So not only will I be demonstrating hydrostatic shock between my different guns here, but I will also be explaining what is happening that causes that. Because I find that really interesting. And I have a new gun. This old girl. I know what you're thinking. That's a pretty cruddy gun. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. It's powered by firecrackers. It was actually a cannon. This is the breach, so it's where the combustion happens. It is a bike tired, um, what do you call it? I don't know. I'm bad with words. Don't make fun of me for it. And how you load it is simple. You just um, feed the firecracker fuse through this tiny little hole back there. See that hole? Feed the fuse through there. You have the firecracker right there. And you put the firecracker into this tube right here. And then it just fits together like that. All smooth. And then from there you just light the fuse and you're ready to go. Well, you have to put an airsoft PB in there, but otherwise, you're good to go. So, enough of me blabbering on, let's go shoot stuff. Okay, I got it loaded up. I'm wearing ear pro, because this thing is loud. Now, let's light her off against this steel plate. Okay. Check out the damage. Not much, I don't feel much of a dent, but I saw that BB shatter when it impacted the steel plate. But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reload and we're gonna shoot this arm shield. Okay, second shot. Got her loaded up again. Let's go and light her off. Okay. As you can see, it put a really, really big dent in it. Wow, that's a deep dent. Holy cow. I don't know how that didn't go through. But, wow. Look at that, that's where the sword sits, and you can see the bulge from there. Look at that. Look how deep that is. That is insane. Well, now you know how much power this cannon packs. Time to go shoot some water. Okay, I got my brown gun here. I pumped it up to 10 pumps. I have a hollow point in there. So that uh, means maximum hydrostatic shock. We're going pretty close range. So, as you can see, quite a lot of hydrostatic shock. Take a look at the entry. Quite a lot. Let's go see if the pellet is still in there. I do not see it, but yeah, it didn't have much energy going to go through both sides. It was quite an energetic reaction. I've not had that yet. I just had like a little bit of water spread out. Okay. So now I'm going to get the other can. Here. 
I have it on standby, so I'm going to use a cannon now. The um, pellet gun wasn't so loud, so I'm going to use this. These now. Okay. Hydrostatic shock. Wow! Quite a big difference. Oh my word. That right there, since there was no e exit hole, that is what we like, we scientists like to call a complete energy dump. And wow, look at the size of that hole. Here, look at that. I like busted the can wide open and as you can see no exit hole so it had a complete energy dump and I'm going to stop the clip right here because there's a drop of water on this lens and so I'm going to clean it off okay see that clay thing right down there I had this thing pumped up to 10 times I think yeah I definitely do we're going to shoot it with a hollow point really hard clay so okay as you can see there's like not much of an entry hole but we're going to um see we're gonna rip this open and harvest the round here's the round complete expansion it leaves these lead skirts in there nothing we haven't seen so so I'm going to see if I can soften this up, okay? That feels relatively soft. So stick her in there. Now I have the cannon preloaded, so... And my goats are like right there, so he shouldn't... Oh, the dud. Okay, we're gonna reload very quickly. Yeah, this shouldn't take that long. The um, breach was clear. I don't know what caused that. That's usually the problem junk in the breach, in the fuse hole. Okay. So we're reloaded, new firecracker. Okay, it's lighting. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not one thing to lie. I'm going to try again. Yeah, this is not one thing to lie. Okay, I'm going to load a new firecracker in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This clip is going to be a little bit long, but you know what? Nothing we haven't seen before. Okay, I'm probably going to edit this all out. I'm really like... Where isn't this cannon firing? That's what I want to know. Okay. Let's see if we can the middle and feed into that stinking... Breathe, firecracker. Get in there. Get in there. Get in. 
get in there. Come on. There, got it. Okay. So, we are going to try this again. There. Okay, so we know something has happened. Take a look at that. Nice gaping hole. And bear in mind, just when I shot this earlier, the pellet just left a pellet sized hole in it. And this was hard clay. I mean, this is like pretty hard for clay. So, yeah. Quite a lot of hydrostatic shock. Okay. So, before I go into slow-mo and stuff, I'm going to explain how this all works. So, hydrostatic, let's break it down. Hydro meaning water, static meaning um, still. So how it works is water resists energy to the direct propor proportion of the energy is, that is applied to it. For example, if I were to, like, um, punch the water, the water would resist it, um, with the same amount of force of my punch against my punch. So it would equal my punch. And that, um, uh, airsoft BB that I shot was moving so, with so much power that the water resisted with the equal amount of that cannon. And therefore that caused it to blow out like that. And because it resisted that much and equaled the cannon, um, the cannon did not have enough power to make it all the way through. The pellet, however, did normally with like higher velocity rounds, you would see like a, no pass-throughs of water. And that's because the water is resisting those bullets so much. And if you move on to like smaller calibers, then the water is not resisting it as much, so it's easier for those projectiles to continue on all the way through the water. So the basically the more powerful of round you have trying to get through that water, the less likely that the less likely that round is going to make it through the water. I find that really interesting, and now time for the slow-mo. Look at that muzzle flash there. Just so you know, if you can only go up to like 720p on this on this YouTube video, it's because I'm switching to 720p resolution, which is still high definition, but I honestly don't have the SD card space to do like breaking stuff videos and vlogs at the same time. Yeah. Hello, Jasmine. Okay. There's Ziggy. He did not go ahead today. Yeah. Okay. Here's May. She wants something. Hey May. Hey Thudner. How you doing? Good boy. Yeah, okay. Here's Blitzen. Hey Blitzen. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing Blitzen? Yeah. Look at the camera. This is the first time he actually let me film his face with this camera. So that's a plus. Right, I forgot to mention I gotta go feed the animals because they haven't been fed. They're telling me that right now. So I'll be back after I feed the animals. Hello, 
I'm going to be do I'm back from feeding the animals. And Jasmine wants green, so um within the next two weeks I'm going to have wood so I can build like um a shelf for uh, Shelly Pleska. She um she works she owns the South Street Dairy Queen. If you don't know where that is it's obviously on South Street, but it's by the Jim Ager Golf Course and near a basketball court right there. And there's also a scooters like right next to it too. And it's also right by a laund laundromat, so if you know where those are, you'll know where South Street Dairy Queen is. Go check her out. It's an awesome store. I'm going to be working on that shelf there and um I'm going to be doing some goat carpentry because I'm going to be building those shells with those goats out. And as soon as I know the measurements for it, that's when, as soon as I know the measurements and I have the wood, I will be working on that. And some parts of that video may be a little bit dry, but others might not be. And um, one more thing. My cannon. What do you think of that? I love it, and that's going to be in every one of my Is It Pellet Proof videos. Every single one of them. And I'm going to break out that cannon, and since that cannon is much more powerful than my pellet gun, I'm going to use that. Oh, and I shot a 55 gallon drum with it, and a pellet just put a slight dent, but that cannon put a, put a very noticeable divot in there, and it smashed the BB to smithereens, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. So just comment below if you want to see more of that cannon. And I've been doing a lot of firecracker videos because it's the week of the 4th. So, yeah, I have like one week to do a bunch of firecrackers. And so there are some things I do with firecrackers every single year that I just thought I might bring you guys along for that. So just leave your comments about what you want to see out of this channel down below. Thanks for watching Goat Ranch and we will see you next time. See ya!